so now we have another uh, example which is more complex here we have a part uh, without any machining holes at all and on the contrary uh, there are different types of holes for instance uh, there are threaded holes uh, created uh, in a special way like here like here also we have here uh, you know different type of holes which is um, you know is not a simple hole not a countersunk and not a counter bore hole either then we have uh, certain simple holes you know and we have a different type of holes uh, if you would do the uh, like we have done before the the whole chart immediately uh, we will have uh, we will not get any information because the system cannot detect uh, type of the hole and cannot get you know the parameter from the 2D drawing so the first thing we should do is in this case uh, we go to the analyze function and we select the part and when we do this analyzing uh, Solid Genius uh, automatically tries to detect uh, certain type of holes. For instance, uh, the uh, threads which are, you know, created, uh, you know, uh, in a special way, uh, will be found as a thread. And also, uh, if a hole is a simple hole, or a counter sunk hole, or a c or counter bore hole, this will be detected automatically. So we got the message that 112, uh, 100, uh, zero, uh, 102 uh, circles are found and not to be machining. So the first thing I should do is I just take a look, you know, from the top. And as you see, uh, every hole is detected, you know. And so I can switch off this switch on switch off the detection you know and the next step uh, what we should do is I will say that uh, the system should recognize different hole types automatically here so the genius uh, is looking for uh, a certain shape of the hole is it a simple hole once uh, you know a cylinder or with a chamfer or is it a, a counter sunk or counter bore uh, hole here uh, 41 simple holes are detected 52 threaded holes are detected and 12 uh, holes he could not uh, categorize so he called it like a other hole let's see the simple holes first select on the show and uh, we will see uh, the simple holes they are considered to be a simple hole then I go and say show me the threaded holes threaded holes will be shown as well those uh, you know color bodies they are like a feedback so for instance I can switch off my part and I will see all the whites are the threaded holes in which the system can you know has found let's check they seem to be okay here here as well here as well okay so as you see it now we also have uh, leftovers are we have 12 pieces of holes which are uh, called um, from type other let's check the the holes they are considered to be other is as you know you were expecting uh, this hole, for instance, is uh, you know not a uh, not a a simple hole, not a threaded hole. Is you know from the type other. Maybe take a look. There are here uh, certain. Let's check them. Those ones. Okay. On the other side as well. This hole, because it's a cut threaded hole, is found to be, you know, not a uh, simple or threaded or any any of the known types. So now, uh, here we have uh, to decide now: uh, should we leave the holes uh, like 
this uh, from the type other and they will be listed in the whole chart with the to uh, whole type other or uh, we could go and uh, give a you know particular description to this individual whole types and just to show you the possibilities in this case I will do uh, this teaching method and I will say I want to teach in uh, to the system that uh, this whole type let me see is as you know something common uh, for me and each time uh, this one each time it comes uh, you know uh, I want to have a certain description this will be done only one time I'm talking about this whole type and this will, will be done only one time and uh, next time is if a simple a similar hole uh, will come on a plate you don't have to do it again because this will be already known to do this I go to this teaching and the t teaching method has also you know different hole type for teaching in this is a hole type it's just a very you know general hole type I just select the faces say this face I can select uh, cylindrical faces only and say those if I have a hole consisting of three cylindrical faces with the same diameter like clicked it you know selected and this should be called hole type number let's say number 12 just then as an you know, example. Now I've stored this definition as a teaching. It means that from now on, each time if I have a plate, and let's do it, and I say analyze uh, this plate, uh, the system will check the teach in definition and will automatically de detect. Uh, all the you know holes uh, which will satisfy uh, one of those teaching definitions. In this case, uh, we have several ones which have uh, you know consist of these three pieces of cylindrical faces. As you see, uh, now I have to say recognize again, and now we should get here some teaching holes. Okay, here we go. We got eight holes which you know are satisfying uh, the definition of the teaching. Let's check them. I switch off uh, all the parts first, all the you know feedback parts, and say switch on only the teaching. So those are the like we expected. Those holes, you know, here one here another one those you know uh, holes are eight pieces are detected as uh, like you know I, I described it whole type number 12 okay now we are ready I go to annotation drawing In annotation drawing uh, I will just uh, create the whole chart annotation Go to the whole chart menu, create whole table, select the view. View is up, you know, should be updated now. Okay. All right. And then reference point, I don't have to set; it's already here. I simply say create. Okay, we got the message that some holes don't belong to the machining is okay so now um, so genius is extracting information from the 3d model and uh, matching uh, 2d circles with the 3d geometry and reading back the attributes which means that uh, now it knows that um, you know those two uh, 
uh, or three circles, uh, quark quarksail circles, you know, with with this particular diameter, makes up uh, this hole type number twelve, for instance. Say create hole chart. And as we will see, description field of the whole chart will be filled automatically. Okay, here we go. And we have here 59. And as you see, uh, threaded holes, simple holes, and they're all categorized. I make a uh, sorting in description description as you see our whole type number 12s will be this one that one that one okay so this is automatically you know uh, here we have simple holes and tr our threaded holes are also automatically Okay. And the rest are the simple holes. Of course, um, you can also define a description for each type of hole, you know, like you can customize it. Let's put the position numbers. view we can check Following holes are uh, in the for in the invisible ones, of course. There are no position numbers because they are not treated. Okay, we go. The invisible ones are not taken. That was all.